How you doing? Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a little review on some LED turn LED brake lights and uh, with the integrated turn signals uh, for Harleys. Uh, what I have here is the one from Speed Kings. I've been running this for a couple years. Um, it's really great at night, but a lot of people bitch in the daytime that you can't see a turn signal, especially if my brake lights are on and stuff. Uh, I end up buying another one from Moon's Moto Culture. Uh, seem like pretty legit guys over there. It's even their own little thing. Look, it's even got a logo on it. Uh, this has a lot higher reviews. Um, so we're going to give a shot in here. Uh, I'll run through the installation process and uh, give you a little review of both of them. So, here we go. Alright, what we're going to do here is first we're going to mimic uh, daylight as best I can with all the lights on my garage. Uh, so there's your rain lights, there's your brake lights, and uh, it does bleach out the camera pretty well, and of course, your turn signals. So there's with the turn signal on. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up, but you, you kind of get the idea of what's going on there. Rain lights again, brake lights off. No turn signals there. And we'll do it again with all the lights off in the garage. All right, with all the lights off, kind of mimicking darkness. Nighttime. All right, so there it is with just the rain lights, brake lights. Let the camera focus a little bit. And brake lights with a turn signal, uh, you can't really see a whole lot going on there. I mean, I know this isn't the best camera for these things, but I think you get the idea of what's going on. So it is a functional light if you're just worried about getting past the cops out uh, of work, but I'd like something a little bit higher vis so I don't get rear ended. All right, so swapping out your tail lights really simple. This is a task anybody can do. Ultra basic hand tools. Um, if you have the stock turn signals on here, this might be a little more in depth because you'll have to take the bar off, but I threw that set up away a long time ago. So, Phillips screwdriver. There's just two screws on here. Right there, and try to do this by watching the monitor. So, and right there. So break them both free first. Don't lose these. We're going to have to reuse these screws. Back them both out of there. Pop the tail light off. Don't drop screws on the floor like I just did. Find that one. Then up in here, it's pretty straightforward. You got little release tabs on the thing. You got your right turn signal. Got your right turn signal here. Pop that out. Got your left turn signal here. I'm gonna move in here just so you can get a little better idea of what's going on here. Then on your actual brake and tail light here, hopefully it focuses. There we are. There's a little release tab down here. Lift that up and pull that out. Whole thing comes off just like that. <clears throat> now, got a new one here. I said from Moon's Moto Culture. And I'm not. I'm not sucking up to them. They didn't give me anything free. I paid a retail price for this. So, ain't nobody getting lip service. The thing I do like is this has like a nice already integrated seal here on it. Where the old one was like this stick-on thing that I don't know how well that would have worked in a hard rain. This definitely looks like a better made product. So, step one. Going to try to do this so we can see. Have the little tab down. Slide that in there until it clicks. Your right wire is your right, or your brown wire is your right turn signal. Green wire is your left turn signal. Plugs right in just like that. Make sure everything is kind of in place. Not pinching any wires. Make sure your little sealing gasket here is nice and in place. It just kind of snaps into place there. We're going to start in with one screw. I got to find the other one that's dropped on the floor. Just nice light touch with your Phillips screwdriver there. Shouldn't be forced or anything. It means you're cross threading if you are. Alright, and I got the other screw right here. So we'll pop the light into place. And start the screw in there like so. Now before we tighten it down, I'm going to look around here, make sure we got a nice tight fit. There's no little gap here or anything. So you know, everything's lined up. Shouldn't have to force anything. Shouldn't have to overly compress any wires. Should line right up. 
and just give them both a little snug turn. Just snug them both up. Enough where you feel the seal compress in there. And uh, you know, torque it down, don't kill it. There we go. Now, let's see how that thing does. First in full light. I should add in that on the Moon King's, uh, sorry, the Moon's Motoculture uh, tail light, they have an option where you can make it strobe for a few seconds every time you hit the brakes. So that is on a little dip switch on the back of the light, and I have that set up that way. So here we go. There's your tail lights. Here's your brake lights. Ah, I like that strobe light. All right, so right turn, right turn with brake lights. Man, you can see how that turn signal still really pops out even with the brake lights. So now we'll go to that setup at night. All right, here, garage darkness, running light, brake light. Ooh, that's nice. Let's do that again. Oh yeah, and turn signal with the brake light on. Turn signal with the brake light off. Yeah, that's really nice. You can see that really well. So. So, that's all I got. Big fan of the Moon's Monoculture tail light there. Uh, probably gonna buy other stuff from them. So, they get five stars in my book. Like I said, they didn't give me anything for free. I had to pay full retail for this crap. So, if they wanna send me free stuff, I'd be on board with it. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, check out my uh, blog, my other YouTube videos, my website. If you're in Cleveland, come take class. Let's get Mark Garage. That's all I got.